yes i'm telling you about um the pest that's in my garden now my garden is um you see the little yellow spots on on the on my garden or whatever it comes from um a cucumber beetle i'm spraying now for cucumber beetles inside of my garden i'm looking inside inside the flowers um uh, my young tender flowers to see um uh, in my cucumber plants to see if they're inside because they they eat the flower inside out and they eat leaves and they also give your garden a uh, virus too so um i'm looking over my garden or whatever and i got different traps and stuff for different pests or whatever that not beneficial for your garden um i'm looking over to make sure i don't see any um i did have cutworms also eating on my garden but i um took care of that problem okay um and if not i i'm using nemo spray nemo oil spray a spray and you, you just um uh, take it and you mix it with water and i'm spraying it and so it's for the the, the pest it's for the um cucumber beetle and it's for the cutworms and i read about it that it was very good for beneficial for your garden so i'm spraying them on the tender leaves because the uh cucumber beetle loves to eat on the eat on it like i said on the flowers and the cutworms like to eat, eat at the base of the flowers so usually um you know i usually have a cup around it so they can't get to them but this year i didn't do it um I, and this year i didn't do it this time so i that's what i'm doing now i'm trying to get get rid of the cucumber uh beetles because uh because they have infested my garden and so most people give up um their garden because they have these beetles or whatever and they give up and they're like oh, i don't want, want a garden anymore and they let it go but i um don't do that i try to um you know i try to you know get the beetles to uh decrease you know in numbers or whatever and i try to kill them off so um and you can do the same um um like i said the flowers you see the flowers where they've been eating on them and it's why they brown because they're eating, they're eating i have cucumbers i have melons i have um 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 uh watermelons i have peppers i have tomatoes they eat all that they'll they'll go through your garden and eat it all so it doesn't matter which one is which and so he goes here's a here's a little um spotted and and they they are they are yellow it's like a they, they black stripes got black stripes and they are um uh, yellow i mean a, a black well a light green black black yellow but that's like a light yellow yellowish yellow green and with black stripes and some have spots and so if you see one that look like a ladybug they're not beneficial either they are bugs too um and they will eat you see they, they eat all my leaves or whatever and they got little holes in my leaves because they have been gnawing on my plant so i decided to put the nemo spray on it and regardless or if it rains or, or whatever you can still put the spray on it and that's what the powder's for because it, it's the it's a it's a it's a oil it's an oil spray and it kills them on the spot and i, and I sprayed this bug right here and after a while the, the bug will be uh gone it'd be dead because i sprayed so i sprayed it at the base of my um squash plants and stuff so when they crawl up well really they fly and when they and when the cutworms try to get at the bottom i got the for that and then when they when the um the cucumber beetle is eaten at the base of the flower i spray the young tender flowers i do that and so i put cardboard on it so i can see the beetles because they like to fly away as soon as you move the plants or whatever so um don't ever give up on your garden because you have um things eat 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 at your garden don't ever do that because um and the bugs are beneficial for your garden like the bees and and you know pollen and also kill ants too there the nemo spray do, doesn't bother them at all um and so and, and it's good for flea beetles this right here is my um that this right here is my um uh, eggplant and flea beetles was eating on it and so i sprayed on that and so now my leaves is growing it had stunted its growth at, at first so um i think i got everything under control and once you kind of just you know you garden and you look out there and you and you just look at everything 
you have to you have to go inside, you know. And these are my watermelons right here where they're growing. And I'm trying to keep, you know, everything, um, uh, the cucumber beetle from eating my garden and the cutworms, you know. But they're doing pretty good. Um, so I'm just showing somebody that you can garden and you can, you know, actually um, beat whatever it is, squash bugs or whatever. The Nemo spray is great for it. And it will decrease the numbers of it. And so, um, you know, just um, put a like on my video, you all, and subscribe, okay? Thank you. Anyway, so uh, I got cardboard under here because it, it's a no-dig garden. And I got the cardboard to keep the my garden washed. And on this side, I have um, pepper plants on this side. I, I got uh, uh, bell peppers. And then I have hot peppers on this side here of my garden. And so... Um, they eat those. They eat the peppers. You said they got the holes, and they eat peppers. They eat the peppers or whatever. They eat all that, and they just they just didn't gnaw on my things, you know. Um, and then you see right here, I kind of you know um, keep everything going or whatever, and I spray I spray it, and then over here you see the leaves. They get inside the 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 they get inside the plant, and then the cutworms they love the bottom of the plant, so you need to spray the bottom of the plant, and the cutworms won't won't be able to eat eat um on your plants or anything and so i have got i got a little bit of traps in there for for nets and everything it's what the little bit of red cups are right here down in, inside my plants is for um i got a fly traps for the flies because flies i don't know why flies love the garden but um so i got that and you see my watermelon over there it's growing i got it on cardboard too and it's growing and so so far i have did really good but like i said the spots on there is come from the um spray and the little bottles you see with things in there that's you know that's my uh traps for my ants so it has done pretty good i can i i i mean i've done good and, it, and it's wonderful to say that you know uh the pest that, that try to ruin your garden you can save your garden you see you see me spraying this for spider mites and stuff like that i can do and put them on flowers on uh fruit trees um you can put them on any kind of fruit trees apple trees pomegranate trees it will not hurt the trees it will not it will just leave a like a little film coating on there so when they chew on it it would decrease um when the little babies chew on it it would decrease their um their growth It'll stunt their growth, and it will also kill them once they chew it. Any, any, you know, anything that chews on your plants, it will, it will kill it. The Nemo spray will. So the Nemo, the Nemo spray is very effective. And I also use Demacious Earth on my plants. So y'all know you see some white powder stuff. It's Demacious Earth, and Demacious Earth um, does wonders in gardens. Um, it, it does. It, it, it just does wonders. And I do not use any. Um, or oh, I don't use any, um, you see, you see the, you see the way, where I had the demacious earth down there, I had the demacious earth the bottoms to, to kill the cutworms when they come up over, if they have babies or whatever, so they, when they crawl up, they, to, to eat my, to, make, to eat the flowers, then I just totally just, um, um, I, I bring it up there where they can, you know, when they chew on it, it just kills them, it, it'll kill them once they get the demacious earths on them. Uh, demacious earth is just like glass, uh, to, to, uh, pests. Uh, Demacious earth kill fleas, uh, ticks. It kills a numerous of bugs, so it's very effective and it's very, you know, it's very effective. I've I've used it for I use it for years. So, like I said, um, everything has, um, everything has um, done what I thought it would do. And I will tell anybody, do not give up on your garden, and don't give up in your garden. Keep going. And don't give up on your garden. So I want you to look at my video and subscribe and hit that button. All right. Thank you.